I'm going to go through in this video one way to calculate the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. In a separate video, I set up the basics of what a determinant is. So if you're not familiar with determinants, please don't start with this video. So briefly, the approach I'm going to show you for a 3 by 3 matrix is to take all of the down diagonal elements and then subtract from them the up diagonal elements. You should have six terms when you do this, and each term needs to be a product of three elements. So I'm going to do a concrete example with this 3 by 3 matrix here. And remember, in the end, our determinant should be a scalar, but it might be a complex scalar. So my first thing I want to do is do some down diagonals. And so when I want to calculate the determinant, and I'll write it this way of B, my first diagonal, and I'm just going to put a number here so we can keep track of what we're doing, is A times E times J. So these are three multiplied scalars that might be complex. Now my next diagonal would start with B and then be multiplied by F, and then you have to wrap around. So the method I'm going to show you is that you actually take and repeat part of the matrix for calculating this determinant. There are other ways of doing this, but I think that this is a nice technique for people who are new to this. So you see that we have column 1, 2, 3, and then we actually are going to wrap around and say A, D, G, B, E, H. So now, when we go to do our second down diagonal, we've wrapped around. So this is 2. So here, our down diagonals, we are adding these together. So plus B, F, G. So this was term 1, this is term 2. Term 3 is this one. C, D, H, term 3. So those are our down elements. Now we have to do the up diagonals. Um, now in this case, we're subtracting each of them. So you can either say minus, and then parentheses, three terms. I'll use just a minus sign in front of each term. So minus this up diagonal here, which I'll call term 4, G, E, C, and then the next one, so again minus term 5, H, F, A, and then finally minus J, D, B. This was term 6. So again, six terms, and each one has three elements. So where you have to be careful when you're doing this with actual numbers, there might be some zeros in your matrix, which is going to mean that some of these uh, terms overall will be zero, because numbers multiplied by zero give you zero. Please don't take shortcuts initially, because you want to make sure that you don't drop any of these terms. So it's really helpful to not try to do it out in your head, but to initially really write it down. You don't have to do it out in this general form first if you have numbers, but make sure that you see I'm multiplying three things together each time, and then okay, maybe some of the terms are zero. So there are other methods for calculating the determinants of three by three and larger matrices, and you'll notice that this idea of down minus up was also how we calculated our two by two. So this is a general approach but I, I think that it works pretty nicely. Um, if you have another technique, that can be okay. Just make sure it's mathematically valid. This will work in, in all circumstances. So it just can get a little tedious, especially if these are complex numbers or if they have imaginary coefficients, um, or sorry, irrational coefficients. Uh, this can get just kind of tedious, but it's arithmetic. So be prepared in quantum mechanics to sometimes just do line after line of arithmetic and especially once these have real numbers in it, uh, that might actually need to take more than one line on a piece of paper. So not that hard, just can get a little tedious.